Guys, come on. Guys, come on. Guys, come on. You didn't really think we were going to leave that orange, did you? Boom. Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. I'm Paul with Stuff Pack, and we are super stoked to be here back at our shop build. I got a question for you. If you had $20,000 of, say, like quartz countertops coming in on a truck, do you think that would be a good time to let the new guy learn how to use the forklift by unloading that? Well, we voted no, and I'm sure you would too. But our counter company voted yes, and that guy dropped a whole pallet of stone, which happened to be part of our order, and we had to wait an extra week for it so they could get new stuff. But here it is, it looks absolutely epic, and we are ready to install these today. So in this video, Jordan and I are gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna install these ourselves. These are pretty simple, and we're gonna DIY it. What could possibly go wrong? Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that's customized for your own needs, plus it's conveniently shipped right to your door. Every body is different, and Helix knows that. They made the sleep quiz to match your unique body type and sleep preferences to make the perfect mattress for you. They have something for everyone's unique taste, and if you sleep with a partner, you can even take the sleep quiz together and find something that's the perfect compromise for both of you. Based on the results of our quiz, Helix matched my wife and I with their Helix Sunset mattress. And you can personalize your mattress even further by adding the Glacio Tech cooling cover. It's a great way to keep cool on those hot sun Summer months. And a lot of you know that our family is in the middle of a big move right now. In fact, Jordan and I are sleeping on air mattresses and before that we were sleeping on regular mattresses. But my wife and I's Helix mattress is in Texas and when I sleep on that thing, I get six to seven hours uninterrupted sleep per night. And honestly gang, that hasn't happened to me in a long time and I absolutely love it. Our customized mattress is the perfect combination of being soft yet still firm for all that support we need. And how comfortable is it compared to your last one? All right, so let's say the old one was a three, our big king. This new Helix mattress, definitely a 10. I cannot wait to get in that thing at night and know I'm gonna get seven hours sleep. And with your new Helix sleep mattress, you get a 100 day sleep trial, a 10 year warranty and flexible payment plans if you need it. And the best part about all this is that Helix ships your mattress free right to your front door anywhere within the US. It comes rolled up in a box and it's super easy to set up. Jordan and I did it in what? 10 minutes, bud, right? Easy. Easy. I love our new mattress, so if you're looking for a new bed or you know someone who is, check out Helix. Click on the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash studpack for up to $200 off your mattress. Plus, you get two free pillows, and they're great. <laughs> now, this is the first time you're seeing the quartz that Jordan and I picked out. Remember, we chose all the finishes, and it's the first time we're seeing it in the bathroom, and look how great that is gonna look. This is a silver pearl quartz, and we paid $700 labor and material for four pieces. We got a left and a right for this. We got it. Remember, we have a his and a her side. So that amount include the sink, mounting the sink, and drilling the hole, and polishing all the edges on all four pieces. And forklift insurance. And forklift insurance. Those two other pieces are going to sit right here and form the shelf for all the shampoos and soaps. And we had them make these a little bit long because we can easily trim these to the exact length we need. Our very first step is going to be notching our quartz counters. Check this out. Right now we've got it butted against the shower tile, but we have this gap here. And when I ordered them, I measured from this wall right here, not the tile. So what happened, now we've got one and three quarter inch overhang on our pony wall, and that's too much. So we're simply going to make a notch right here and move this thing all the way to the wall so there's no gap and we have the proper distance here for our tile. Very little overhang. So let's mark this, go outside and start cutting some quartz. that nice not a whole lot different from cutting that pine wood huh Jordan nope <laughs> pine wood 
heck is that? All right, I simply have a diamond blade on there made for cutting stone, tile, quartz, stuff like that. And our trusty old Porter cable. What do you think the success rate of this is? 100%. <laughs> All right, gang, the hers side is notched and the his side is notched. They look great. And we even took the time to cut the piece of quartz we had made for the top of our little shelf right here. It flushes out with the end of the countertop exactly. And we got them dialed in exactly where I want them. Come around to the front, let's show you what we did and how we're gonna support the front temporarily and how we can adjust it to get it perfectly level. So we simply took a scrap of two by four, drilled a pilot hole in it, used a quarter inch lag bolt. It's got a half inch head. And that's gonna act as a little jack screw. I can take this on there, tighten it or loosen it as we need it to raise this up or down to get it perfectly level. And that's where we are, as you can see on our torpedo level. And we even took it a step further. We've got the laser set up behind me and you can see that green laser beam just kissing this front edge. As a matter of fact, let's cut the lights so you can see that laser. All right, check this out. This is pretty cool. We dim the lights and you can see that the bottom half of the laser beam is just kissing the top edge of the quartz. And if I run my hand across the top, you can see the top of the laser beam hitting my hand. And then it finally hits this wall behind us. So we know this guy is perfectly level. So these countertops are pretty dead flat. How did we do that, dude? I don't know. Good job, though. Good job. <laughs> what, do you have your own sound effects now, huh? I do. All right, let's install these things. Let's grab our curdy fix, pull these out of here, run a bead across the top of the pointy wall so no water ever gets to it, and reinstall these for good. Just putting a bead here just to completely seal this gap. This is what's gonna happen. Water's gonna come down the glass, wrap around this edge, and go right there. But remember, we have like three layers of waterproofing right here. This is like a belt and suspenders approach. I'm gonna put a glove on, tool that real quick, and this thing will last forever. All right, guys, with the magic of editing, this Curdy Fix is dry and these things are rock solid. But we're going to leave our kickstand there just in case. And we could have certainly tiled before this got dry, but it's much better now that it is dry. So our next step is to start tiling. We're going to go the same thing here with our vertical motif on our tile. And we're going to wrap these pony walls, wrap the main walls and head out of this bathroom. We can't wait to see how epic that's going to look. Now, as far as our overhang right here, we have about 7 eighths of an inch, that's 15 16 just what we want because remember, with this big tile and our thin set behind it, we're at about 3 quarters of an inch thickness. That's going to give us an eighth of an inch, 3 16 of an overhang, which is exactly what we're looking for. And as far as our little shelf right here for our shampoo, you can already see it's got a slope already in it. Check that out. That's because we built the slope into our pony wall. When we built the pony wall, way back when. So we don't have to build up with inset or anything like that. We can put that right down there and start tiling. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna start tiling in this shower, both pony walls, wrap them, head out. Let's go outside, mix up some thin set, finish this tile. All right, this side of the shower is all tiled. All that's left is grout, but look how awesome that looks. What a great shelf for the shampoo, all your bathroom accessories. And when I walk into a shower, not only do I notice the tile, but check this out. Look how our envelope cut intersects that corner perfectly. Let's move our operation to the other side, do the other pony wall, and see if we get the same results. Guess what, guys? We have a fully tiled shower. We got this side of the pony wall done, and it looks amazing. We have our quartz countertop here. Kind of waterfalls over the edge. We've got our wall tile back to our quartz shelf with our slope built in already. It's pitched this way so it drains back to our wall tile. Can't wait to see how it looks all grouted. Over here in our corner, our envelope cut right there at that inside corner, just like we planned. And if you come over here, see so we put our Schluter trim, one, two, three. We'll fill this in with tile. And it's so deep here because it flares out at the bottom because of all the waterproofing we put down there. Didn't want any leaks. 
And we even rolled around the side and we did the underneath of this vanity. Looks great, drilled for the pipes, and we are done under here. But that was kind of a pain, so we're gonna take a break, stand up, and actually do this wall behind us. So let's get rolling. While you're finishing that up, I thought I would update them and have a little powwow with them on kind of where we're at, what we're doing. That's a great idea. All right. All right. It'll, All right. Be, it'll be easy to keep going with this really thin, thin set you made me. This batch is a little runny. I'll make it work. I'll, save, right. I'll save you. Yeah, I'm sorry. So as far as the project, we have three total, but two of them are about one to two days away from being fully completed. On one, we've got a little bit of trim work, and on the other, we've got some paint and some finished uh, junction boxes and silicone, yeah, and stuff like that. like that, real easy stuff. It shouldn't take more than four days to be here permanently making videos again. So between this video and the next one, there'll probably be uh, another week, but after that week is over, we're full-fledged back in business, and it's all pretty simple. We got a couple cool things, a couple cool videos, still for this bathroom plan, but Absolutely. of course, our main priority is getting to Texas and uh, starting on the stud pack house. Speaking of, the city has been looking at the plans since Monday of last week. We weren't expecting a response from them, of course, over Thanksgiving, but we are expecting something from them this week or next week, which is great. The whole process has been great. So, yeah, they're going to respond like, we are blown away, whatever you need. Probably not. But, yeah, yeah. This house gonna... is amazing. Right, right. Who designed it? So it's going to be great. We're super excited about that. And when, when we get to Texas, we should be able to start working immediately. And we're talking tree removal. We're wearing the branches with chainsaws and vests. We're talking concrete pouring. We've never done that. Uh, digging propane tanks out of the ground, right. um, which are essentially big bombs. So yeah. that'll be interesting. We got to tear down that shed. Right. We got to buy, uh, buy a skid steer. We're, Dad and I are looking at machinery. We've never bought big machinery before, but... Yeah. Um, we're looking at those. We saw the price and we kind of got sad. So we're gonna have to <laughs> navigate. Crazy. Yeah, we're gonna have to navigate that market, the skid steer market, which is gonna be great. So we got a lot of stuff planned. Um, it's not like we're sitting over here not planning anything. We're really just kind of we're gonna lay this tile, and then after that, it's gonna almost be like a new YouTube channel with the stuff that we're gonna be doing. Yeah, it seems like every time we drive to Texas, talking about the skid steer, we see a couple for sale on the side of the road. Right, and oh, we, we just and we get the number, we come back the next time, they're gone. Right, so it must be a pretty hot market. I think so. Hot skid steers in your area. Or they're getting stolen. All right, man. I cool. Think a little piece down here. We'll notch it for our access door for the shutoff valve. Right. Put one here, and then I'm back under the sink. All right, dude, you've had pretty easy cuts so far, but right now we got a big double notch. You ready? Let's do it. All right, you know what to do. All right, we're going crescent. Okay. Ooh. Nice. And I can just file the rest down. Whoa! Let's go! Right on! Woo nice, bud. Put out there, put some thin set on it, put it in for good. All right. And don't let anybody tell you that working that hard on a piece of tile and then sliding it in ever gets old and that it's not worth celebrating. Getting the end of our pony wall done, but our shower slope starts here. This is flat. Slope in here, so I got two shims there, one there to account for the slope. That's going to be just fine. And I think one more piece, huh, Jordan? Yeah. Boom, and we're done with this pony wall. Done with this side. Yeah, these pony walls are a project, but they look awesome. Can't wait. Let's do it. This is exciting. These pony walls have come a long way, right? So when we frame them out of scrap lumber, look at that fit. Woo! And now they're clad in stone and quartz and aluminum. They look great. That looks awesome. Great job cutting that. We are done with this side. Woo! All right, we've got it all cleaned up in our bathroom and you can really see how awesome this looks. I just love the way the end of this pony wall turned out, especially with this quad deck. Picks up on all the colors in the stone, makes it nice and clean. So much work went into these pony walls and they're doing so much with the shelf for the niche, supporting the vanity, the plumbing's in there and everything else and all the waterproofing 
that went into it. Check it out over here. We continued the wall tile across here for our backsplash. Make sure we have room for our cover plate. We don't want to trim a cover plate, right? See this big gap right here? We've got a cool detail. We're going to show you how we handle that because that's always gets put off to the end. People usually fill it with grout or thin set or caulk or paint it and they just paint it. It looks terrible. So we've got a cool detail. That's going to look awesome. Let's walk around here to the front. I want to show you a couple things. See, we've got our main water shut off for the bathroom right here. We've got a very nice access panel that's going to go there. We're going to spray paint it black. We're also going to spray paint this white PVC black. And then we're going to transition to a chrome P-trap. And of course, all the plumbing back here will be chrome. It's going to look awesome. Now let's talk about this countertop support. Obviously, it's not permanent. Obviously, we're not going to leave it like that. Jordan and I are bouncing around a few ideas of what to put right here on the corner. Remember, the back is very well supported. Now this side is very well supported by the tile. We just need a support right here. So if you have a cool idea for a support right here for this vanity, let us know in the comments. If we like it, you might see it right here, right on YouTube. So this will go away. And speaking of this little support, why don't you build one for your like button, put this little lag bolt in it, jack up your like button exactly where it needs to be. Smash it for Jordan and I, super appreciate that. Ask us a question, drop a comment. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys on our very next Stud Pack video.